Something just kicked off between Andy and Robert. What? Why? I don't know, they're having a massive bust up at the scrapyard. Then Robert got in his car and then Andy chased him. No, he shouldn't be driving after his operation. Did you hear what it was about? No, no, but he was acting well weird this morning. I, I, asking me who reckons shot him and that. Oh, Robert's not answering. I'll try Andy. Come on. Right, what are we doing? We're going to go find him. quiet in there. I know. I don't like it. I mean, I don't like loud either, but... Maybe she's gone to sleep. I have not gone to sleep, Judas. Hey, why am I Judas? Please tell me those aren't Priya's pyjamas. Because you are meant to be my friend. You're supposed to tell me when Jimmy's done something stupid. A full-time job, I grant you. Look, you've had a shower. In somebody else's bathroom. Oh, maybe you need a, a kip or something. You look a bit frazzled, Nicola. Oh, I tried. But for some reason, I can't really get to sleep when one of my walls has been knocked down and I'm surrounded by other people's stuff. A lot of it's down here, to be fair. Believe me, there's a lot more in here. I haven't even started on Priya's shoe collection yet. Oh, oh, Nicola, oh. no, now you've gone too far. You've already broke their window. OK, I, I've done a few things wrong and, and I'm sorry, but please, come down here so that we can sort it out properly. See ya, you strappy monstrosities! Hey, Nic Nicola! Sayonara, stupid stiletto! Nico! Bye-bye, whatever oh. the hell those are. <laughs> Farewell! Oh. oh, no, actually, those are quite nice. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, Megan. Um, hey, this is my girlfriend, Tanya. Oh, hiya. Hi, I've heard a lot about you. Oh, what from, Nicole or Jay? Oh, uh, Nicole, mostly. I mean, Jay mentioned something, yeah, but... I bet he did. No, no, um, it's nothing, really. And, and, and Nicole's been really nice about you. I'm sure you're really nice. Uh, you, you've met Sam, haven't you? Um, you're going to be there tonight, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, I won't miss it for the world. Well, we better check that Brenda's not turned my daughter into a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Oh, my God. That was awful. What did I say that for? Don't worry. Me and Megan, we go way back. Jay and her brother used to be best mates. She's really, really nice. Everybody is. You'll see when you meet everyone later. Now, before you start... Chocolate cupcakes. Brenda, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I don't know what you mean. Come on, get out! You've got to get yourself out! More ridiculous strappy things! Ah! <laughs> Crocs! Who knew? How many shoes does Priya have? Oh. Oh, that is low. Using my daughter as emotional blackmail. I just thought she ought to see what's going on. What's going on, darling, is that Daddy's been a massive wazak again. Nicola! Mummy, are you cross at me too? No, darling, no. I... Uh, it's, it's just... A... Oh, Nicola! Mummy's just... 
just a bit tired after the flight, darling. Anything together, one of us has to go. <laughs> no, Andy, not like this. <coughs> it doesn't have to end like this. It's not for me. It's not for Diane and Vic. Andy, hey kids, please. <coughs> She barely said a word apart from making it perfectly clear that I wasn't welcome. This is big, Rodney. Seriously big. I mean, Nicola's been knocked with me before. To be honest, that probably makes up 70 or 80 percent of our relationship. But I've never seen her as bad as this. What can you do? Well, you can't get the mill back and the furniture's long gone. I've got to think big. And I mean stratospheric. The, uh... Top Gun trick worked last time. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. But... Well, I've got to think bigger. I mean, if I'm going to do a film tribute, it's got to be like the most romantic, cheekiest chick flick of... Yeah. of all time. Just a fool to believe I have anything she needs. What? <laughs> Nicola! She's like the wind. Andy, we'll be there in a sec, OK? I'm fine, I'm fine. Robert, what happened? Robert! Robert, you're bleeding, mate. There's no stitches. Whoa, whoa, excuse me, can I get some help, please? Come on, come on, it's all right. Oh, you're back. Yeah, Benice was only covering while I was at the doctor's. Oh. Oh, everything's all right, I hope. Yeah, fine, yeah. Just having a bit of trouble sleeping. Nothing major. You can eat as many as you like, but don't give your daddy any. Yeah. Can add them to the pile of shoes outside the mill. Oh, I said two glasses for the wine. Never mind. So, what's this Tanya like, then? It takes a certain kind of woman to put up with Nick Hill. <laughs> No, she seems nice. Well, Molly likes her, and that's the main thing. Oh, hello. I was just singing Tanya's praises. Yeah, she's a lovely girl. Definitely. So, with that in mind, I need you two on side with my grand plan. Oh, yes. I thought that if we make her feel as welcome as possible, you know, like one of the family, then she might decide to stay. And you get to see Molly more sneaky. <laughs> well, yeah. And, and you get to see Nick Gilmore. Uh, sounds like a plan. 
Why is it when any woman doesn't want to drink, everybody thinks she's pregnant? Well, cos that's the only reason a woman wouldn't want to drink, isn't it? No, there's other reasons. You know, I said to you that I had a bit of a drinking problem before you left. No. I mean, I remember you said you wanted to cut down. No, I've got a drinking problem. Well, actually, it's more than that. I was an alcoholic. Well, I am an alcoholic. And that's the real reason why me and Marlon split booze. So it's cost me my um, marriage, my job, my reputation. I slept with a stranger. I caught a STD. Oh. I assorted Marlon. Oh, and I ran over Daisy. So, no, I don't think I'm going to share that drink with you, thanks. <laughs> Michonne left him. He's barely said a word. Hey, he'll be fine, all right? And Andy will be too. It can't be that bad. He didn't need any surgery. I just don't get how it happened. Well, that's not true. I mean, I couldn't guess, but... What? I told you about how Max died, didn't I? Jimmy's brother. They don't think I know. What, playing chicken? Well, it was on the same bit of road. Come on, Vic. Look, I know Robert's messed up. There's Andy's doctor. Your brother's been very lucky. The cut to his ankle was superficial. He's recovering well from the smoke inhalation. Oh, thank God. We'll keep him in overnight, but it's just a precaution. Cheers. Get off. No, not until you tell me what happened. I've told you. He crashed and I found him. Well, Adam said that Andy was chasing after you. No, it had nothing to do with that. Robert, I'm not stupid. I know that that's the road where Max died. That's just a coincidence. Robert. It was like he said. It was an accident. I'd swear for a deer. He found me. This is Chastity, Jenny's half-sister. Is anybody not related here? Oh, well, it is the country. We're massively inbred. Oh, I, I didn't... No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're right, though. It's quite the clan. But it's lovely having family all around you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you'd love it here if you chose to stay on a bit longer. I always thought Jenny were the best of us. Dead clever and kind. Mm, was it with her curl as voice of an angel? Oh, she had a lovely singing voice. Can you sing, Tanya? No, I'm, I'm Tom Deaf. Well, never mind. I'm sure there's lots of other things you're good at. And so it begins. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ashley. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. <gasps> Yay! Yay. Oh, is that Jesus? Yes. Oh. Well, what's a birthday without Jesus? Quite. Well, I'll get cutting. Oh, by the way, Laurel text. Uh, consoling Nicola is taking longer than she thought. Oh, right. Well, I'm not surprised. Yes, I wouldn't want to be Jimmy at the moment. Oh, uh, by the way, this is something a little extra that we got for you. Oh. Uh, it might go Ooh. rather nicely with the cake. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. Mm, always nice benefiting from Benice's new status as Lady of the Manor. <laughs> Cake? No, no, thank you. No, no, I'm fine. Um, bit under the weather. Oh, Dad, your medication. Yeah, and I'm uh, soppy old me. It slipped my mind. No, 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 it's my fault. I was meant to remind you. I'll nip home and get it. No, 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 I'll go. no, no, no it's okay. I won't miss her. You were deported. Shh. Nicola, what did you do? Nothing. Really? I mean, it was completely over the top. Nicola. OK. I was at the beach and I wanted to do a spot of sunbathing, but I'd forgotten to get changed first. I mean, usually, you know me, I'm not shy. I'd have just done the necessary with the least amount of fuss. Right. But they're funny about that kind of thing over there, aren't they? And you hear stories. So I thought I'd be cautious, attempt the whole bra bikini swap thing under my top. Right. Right. Thing is, um, I got a bit tangled. And then I got a lot tangled, and then I had to kind of abort. It turns out I was by quite a busy car park. 
and a coach load of school kids had just pulled up. Oh, dear. Yeah, 42 school kids, to be precise. See, I know, because that's how many witnesses they cited for my public indecency. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Thing is, I'd be laughing too, but over there, it's dead serious. <laughs> and they said I could go to prison. Oh, that's awful. Exactly. I ended up paying a massive fine, which completely wiped out everything I'd saved up. And then they deported me. <sighs> Nicola, you're going to have to tell Jimmy. Oh, I can't. I can't let him get away with this. So now I've got nothing. No savings. No husband. No house. Pub? Sounds good. Yes, Harry says she'll meet us there later. Right. How old are you now, then, Ashley? Oh, positively ancient. 54. 54? <laughs> that's nothing. We're all living a lot longer these days. Probably haven't even hit the halfway mark. Your best before date's a long way off. Mm. Well, talking of things past their best, mm -hmm. Gabby made you some vegan cupcakes for your birthday. <laughs> I know, don't worry, I've been them in advance. But don't forget to thank her and see how yummy they were. Right, so listen, I'll, I'll see you in there. I said I'd pop and see Edna about the church rotor. Won't be a sec. So? Are either one of you going to tell me what actually happened today? So I know you are arguing. He saw you. So what were you arguing about? Aaron. Andy reckons it wasn't him that shot me and he thinks I should give him another chance. Is that true? Yeah. I don't believe you. I beg, please. Why would we lie? Just leave it, yeah? Me as direct. Come on. You're not out all day. Do you, do you want anything from the kind of eat? No? Right, well, fine. Oh, and by the way, glad neither of you's died. So what are you going to do about Aaron? I don't know. You can't let him go down for this. I know, OK? I'll sort it, just... Just give me some time. You didn't swerve, did you? And I'm not sure I would have the last time either. I don't think I ever told you, did I? It was Max that grabbed the wheel. I was ready to kill you then and all. I can't live like this. With all this hate. Just go, Rob. Do what Dad said. Leave and don't come back. I can't. I tried. At the moment today, even, I was going to leave you, but I couldn't. Because no matter what you do, no matter what I do, you're my brother. This is where my family is. I can't leave. Listen to me. Something has to give. Yeah. If I really try. And it's hard, but if I really try... Maybe I can believe you that you didn't mean to kill Katie. But you pushed her. You lied and you covered it up. And I can't prove that you did it. And apparently I can't kill you either. But this ends. Now. Here. Today. Well, you reckon you can cope with a clean slate? No. You don't get that. I'll never forgive you. But all this fighting, the violence, that ends. But I'll always be watching. And it might take months, years. But one day, you will slip up. And you'll go to prison. You'll pay for what you did to her.
Yes, Hart? Yeah, it's Robert Sugden. I need to change my statement. Well, I think I know who shot me. And we're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.